Hey everyone, Greg Albrecht here. I want to walk you through how to generate cursor on target from within Node-RED. Now, if you remember my last video, we showed you how to convert cursor on target to world map format, and that's for displaying under Node-RED. What we're going to do this time is we're going to generate some cursor on target, and then we're going to have, uh, we're going to generate that in JSON format, and then we're going to have the TAC node convert that to XML. So the first thing I'll do is I'll show you my ATAC screen. I have nothing on the screen right now. Um, I do have good positioning from Fuse Sidecar. Uh, so if I go back over here, if we open this function node, you can see what I've written in for our example cursor on target. So the input will either decode cursor on target as XML format, or in this case, what we're doing is generating cursor on target from JSON format. Uh, so you can see the first thing we do here is generate our stale. Um, so your stale is going to be your time now, your date now, plus uh, the duration in milliseconds. So our example here, we have uh, 10 minutes, and 10 minutes would be 5 minutes times 2. 5 minutes would be 5 times 60 times 1,000 milliseconds. So we generate our stale there, uh, and then we use that down here for our stale field. And then our time and our start are both just set to now in a string format. Uh, version, you should leave the same. Uh, your UID should be unique per point. Uh, so I'm going to keep, re what you're seeing here is I'm going to keep regenerating the same point with a new timestamp. But if you want two different points at two different uh, positions, uh, you're going to want to use different timestamps, or excuse me, rather, different UIDs. Um, there is a couple of different ways of generating unique IDs with Node.js, but that's outside of the scope of this. Uh, for CAD calls and things like that, I'll just use the CAD ID or the, the call ID or the incident ID. For ham radio, I'll use the call sign or the uh, APRS SID. Uh, your type is of your cursor on target type. Um, there's a bunch of different ways of looking this up. Um, I'll put a link in the video description of a place to go and look up some cursor on target types. Um, not all displays or products support the same uh, iconography for types, so we've just contrived one here. Uh, how is how it was um, generated. And then your position attributes are down here, latitude, longitude, uh, your errors, your height above earth, or height above uh, ellipsoid. Um, so that's all we're going to generate for this one. Uh, timestamp is just going to generate a, tr uh, a trigger for us. It's going to create our payload, and then we're going to pass it off to the TAC node, which is going to convert it from this JSON format into XML. So let's see what that looks like. Boom. So you see caught as XML is what we pass through here to this node, and it's showing up under this debug called caught as XML. Uh, so here we go. Event, see our UID, our type, our timestamp, and our point information. Uh, I also have another debugger here uh, showing us converting it to a world map format as just sort of a check. Uh, so this is this is what it generated under world map. But what we really want is we want to send this out to my ATAC phone. So if we go back in here and we enable this UDP output node, uh, we're going to output to the multicast address that ATAC listens to, 239-231-6969. Hit that. Oh, let's enable that. So now, if I trigger this uh, payload, pass it through the TAC uh, serializer, and then send it out over my network as UDP, I should see it here. Oop. Hey, there it is, Taco Monster. So just generate it. Uh, I'm going to delete this now, and we're going to try one other thing. We're going to go back, and instead of sending it out over multicast to my local network, we're actually going to send it out to my TAC server. So I have my TAC server configured in here. I have my TLS credentials. So if we enable that, hit deploy. So if we go back over, nothing on our screen. We hit it, and boom, we got it through our server. Finally, I want to show you how to get these latest features from the TAC nodes. Uh, if we go back over to Node Red, we go to the sandwich icon, go to manage palette, and if we click, uh, oh yeah, if we see right here, uh, world map has an update available. So right under nodes, if we look down, 
you'll see that node map is showing up with an update available. If we click that, node red will go and install the update. Just look for a similar button under now, node red contrib tack. It should say the update to 2.0 is available. If you don't see it, click install and then hit refresh.